Worldwide Development is a commercial residential construction company that's been in business for 20 years. And we've provided for the last 20 years residential construction services, general contracting, labor, subcontracting on the commercial side. We provided also subcontracting along with labor contracting. Great. Do you have any current projects going on? I do have a current project going on. The current project going on is at 255 SA Boulevard in Humble, Texas. And what Gary Wide Development is doing, we're providing the commercial aspect of grouting, finishing, and patching for a $20 million parking garage that is being erected as we sit here and speak. So these are the things we're, these are the things we're doing here. You know, we're, we're grouting. This is part of the services that we offer here. You know, grouting, measuring, cleaning out, you know, and being able to get this thing on par because of the stability of the wall. This adds integrity, this adds strength. And this is what keeps these walls from basically collapsing. Another component of the process is also grouting joints on the walls. This is where two walls meet, being erected. The component of grouting is very important. The specifics, the PSI, all of this has to measure up to a standard that puts integrity in the project being built. Of the building process, this outer stairwell, the pieces are put together, but as they're being put together, during the erection process, there's interior grouting that also takes place. Inside the stairwell, the joints, this is a process that has to be met as each piece is put together, each piece is plumbed, measured, calibrated, and it's set. As soon as it's done, we have to get it grouted. And these here are what you call pockets. And these pockets are where the plate has been welded from one wall to another wall to add integrity and stability of what's being built. And this green marker means that it's been inspected, it's approved, and we can grout it. So therefore, that means that we're ready to move forward in grouting this pocket. And this is just a welding component a welding component, a plate to plate. Hand inspected, it's okay. Welders have, have specifications have met, it's been approved, it's safe. Now we can grout this. Adding a, a finishing coat on this to make it blend in and more or less smoothing out. It's a finishing process that's done throughout everywhere where we've done grouting. It's separate in the joints, but in the columns, in the patching, there is a finishing process, a product that we do add to the parking garage to make it blend in. So when everything is, is put, poured out, the cement, and when the, the final coats are put on to do the painting, the blend is pretty much in sequence with the product itself. There's another finishing coat that kind of blends in with the concrete, uniform. And this is part of the finishing too. This applies to all the pockets when these are grouted, and then we come in, we'll finish these out too. Those services have been provided for like the last seven weeks, and we expect to be on this job another eight weeks to finish out the job. Do you have any specific details as to what Gary McGuire Development does? Yes, the specific details of what Gary McGuire Development does is the general contracting services and the subcontracting services. But one of the specialties that we've ran upon, that we've come upon the last 120 days, is being able to provide a labor force 
for companies and small businesses that have a shortage of labor, skilled labor. This labor can be in framing, plumbing, electrical, concrete, painting, and drywall. We hope and look to expand tremendously here over the next 12 months. We can provide that along with project management services. What is your safety culture? Jeremy Wild Development Incorporated Safety Culture do have a in-house safety company that we form and alliance with day one. Okay. Here you are working in an outside, open air, never confined. Silica is not one of my biggest issues because along with the silica there's other stuff with water constantly, so you'll be alright. But I do have to tell you that it was President Summit. Yes. Yeah, I have a three and mask too. No, we just have dust masks for you to dust have mask. whenever you need them, whenever oh. you feel like using them. Again, the concentration of the amount that we have produced in the plant is not anywhere near to where you need a, a respiratory mask. Cualquiera de los dos, tienes que venir conmigo y yo te doy una clase, una clase y luego las puedes utilizar. Lo otro que no miras aquí es la antorcha, angina, soplete. Yes, ok. Um, entonces ese tampoco es permitido. Tienes que venir conmigo y yo te enseño. Porque hay ciertos componentes de, esa, de esa, ese proceso, ese trabajo que puedes explotar las, los cilindros. Uh, we are two separate entities, but we have a strategic partnership where they are our beacon on drug testing, on application process, on certifications, on continuing education. They also do visit us at the site. No, that is the look you have using the warning light system. But the moment you cross over, okay, I'm talking at should be anywhere between six to ten feet away from the leading edge. In that area, you must be 100% tied off. I don't care if you're just gonna duck to get a tool, you left your uh, hammer right there and it's right there, you just wanna get it, you have to be tied off if any part of your body is gonna go on the other side of the warning line, okay? So today at the Robert, the safety guy, said if he catches anybody on the other side of the warning line not being tied off, he will take your name, send an email, and send you home. Make sure that we have our auditing in place. That's very important at this point in time. And it pretty much provides a safety net when people are seeing can you meet the threshold, are you qualified to come out, and do you have an understanding that safety comes first in this business. And it's a great partnership. We're excited about it. And we look forward to expanding. It's colliding at one time. We're not in a first position. No, uh, usually at the job site, we have first priority, like all our work activities and everybody kind of stays away from the right. garage, but here, it's not like that. It's like construction and construction is going on at the same time and it's so hard. Well, we got framers around us yes. and then everything around us now, you got plumbing, you got setting, you got everything around, so everybody, and then in the interior, you got the mesh wire, you got the electrical people, you got, and we're, and we haven't even finished spanning out. We have two future projects coming up. One will be at the University of Houston. We will be providing the same service for Flint Co. General Contractor, along with working with, in conjunction with East Texas Precast, on the patching, finishing, and grouting for a $50 million parking garage that will be five stories that will be taking place beginning in December and being concluded in August of 2019. Also, there will be another project at Methodist Braisewood, which will be a $35 million parking garage that will begin in December of 2018 that will, should be completed in around May of 2019. For the Methodist Hospital, we will be working in conjunction with East Texas Precast on that project as a subcontractor. Do you have any other partnerships? We're looking to form partnerships with other small businesses, labor force, we're looking to form partnerships. You know, we can look at Dallas, we can look at San Antonio, Austin. We're always open for suggestions, we're always open for discussion, we're always open to give advice and help expand our businesses also. Great. How was your meeting with the mayor? 
men with the Maryland, right? We look to form a partnership with the city of Houston and my company and be able to help provide and facilitate a labor force within the perimeter of Harris County, Waller County, and other counties throughout the state. The mayor looks forward within the next 10 business days putting together a plan and implementing it and being proactive in helping people sustain work and, and helping create jobs. The mayor's running a little late, but then we'll be short. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Mayor's running a little late. So. Oh, that's okay. Gentlemen, excuse me. Are you ready? The mayor's ready. Yeah. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Thank you for taking the time. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Well, I'm just wasn't ready.